Hey gang, John Ryan here with some more stuff for uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. We're looking at the bank map right now, which is part of the demolition scenarios. Um, the demolition maps are a combination of arms arrays, which is like gun game, and then your standard defusal mode. Uh, so you've got to plant the bomb or defuse the bomb, and then at the same time, every round in which you get a kill, you also get a new weapon in advance down the tier. Uh, so with the terrorists, we're going to start off. I like to head this wood direction to the left. Uh, hopefully nobody will flashbang you, uh, but through this door you can get a really good line on some counter-terrorists, uh, which is a great spot just to get a couple of kills and advance yourself down the weapon chain. Just do be careful coming out of here uh, and leaving yourself exposed to attack uh, from other directions because it's a big open space. Now if you start with the bomb, you really want to try and get that planted as soon as possible. Um, you know, again, this is objective-based combat, so get in there, get the bomb planted in the vault, um, the thing about the vault is, though, at the start of the round, everyone's going to be heading for it, so you might take a few bullets on your way out of the room, uh, like, like that. But, no worries, you still get a couple hundred bucks for planting the bomb, uh, so you're free to move on. Now, on the counter-terrorist side of things, um, a direct assault on the bank is almost suicidal, as you've got almost all the terrorists coming straight out that door. So, I also like to go through the loading area off to the side, because uh, it gives you the option to kind of loop around back and sneak up on them from behind. Uh, if the bomb's been planted, you can easily sneak into the vault from this direction. Uh, you can also get up on the roof, if you like. Um, and then head back into the bank via either the ladder or the open skylight. So, thankfully, the bomb never got planted in the vault open and then there's two remaining terrorists out there who we then take care of. Another route you can follow along uh, at the start of the mission is if you head to the left instead of around to the right or into the bank directly, uh, there's a storefront over here that you can get through. You want to be careful though because there also are going to be terrorists coming through here possibly. Uh, if they're trying to flank you, they'll probably go through this direction, so counter that by heading straight through the doors over here and then around to the back of the bank. And take care of any opposition out here. And then move into the bank to clear it out. Uh, we're lucky right now, no one's planted a bomb yet. Uh, we've got three terrorists left, hopefully... And that's it. That was the guy right there. And we've moved on to the Desert Eagle, and because we get two kills that round, we get a free grenade. I love free grenades. Alright. Now we're going to head back around uh, to the other side of the truck on the right-hand side for this one, because the Desert Eagle, again, I personally feel that it works best as range, but also, as we're evidencing here, it works okay on its own. Um, it works best at range, of course, when you're not shooting wildly like I am here, and you've got the ability to really pause, take a breath, line up a good shot. Uh, one headshot or two chest shots should take him down. Uh, thankfully, there's only one terrorist left, so we're going to loop through this way, see if we can find them, uh, and then give us plenty of time and comfort to defuse the bomb that did get planted this round. And you got taken down already, so now we're just going to head back to the bomb. Someone's already in there, it looks like, which is good. Fantastic. Alright, so we've moved on to shotguns. Uh, that's one of those kills from the last time. And the shotgun's a little bit tricky on this one because for the most... For most of the beginning of this map, you'll be outside and have a little bit of distance between you and your opponents. However, one solid shot, even from a few yards away, you'll still do a fair amount of damage and be able to take down some enemies. Uh, here again, we're going to move into the back of the bank. Clear it out that way, just move back to front. And I saw a little bit of movement over there through the doors. Uh, so we're going to check the vault, make sure there's nothing here. And then head back out of the side and then check out that store over there. Now, that's our friend shooting us, not an enemy. Uh, we have better eyesight than him. But do be aware that in demolition mode, friendly fire is on. So, 
don't shoot your friends. That'd be bad. All right, he's in there. He's going to get taken down. And that's it for Bank. Uh, be sure to check out more videos here on IGN for Counter-Strike Global Offensive.